Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another edition. Today I'm with Laura, who is from Washington DC, and uh, we're going to talk about a very pressing issue, which is homelessness. And uh, I invited her over because we need to get her perspective as she has experience in this field. Uh, she was a volunteer for an NGO that used to repair houses which were struck by disasters. Relief, right? Yeah, it's um, a nonprofit called Appalachia Service Project, mm -hmm. and um, I was a volunteer coordinator for them. And what this organization did is they helped rebuild um, homes for people that lived in substandard housing. So this was either homes that were struck by disaster, uh, for example, floods or okay. wildfires, but also families that over the years maybe they couldn't afford to keep up with their homes, so maybe their roof was leaking or they needed an extra bedroom for their kids. Um, so different things like that where we um, helped rebuild their homes and make it more livable for them. Amazing. You have a big heart. I mean, I'm saying, <laughs> because, I mean, volunteering for such project that takes a lot of courage. So uh, again, so let's come back to it. Uh, homelessness should not be a big problem for the world's biggest economy, right? But it is there. Uh, without any, getting into the reasons, I don't want this to go or to be you know, political uh, conversation. Uh, what do you think needs to be done from the government or the authorities that, to reduce this uh, big problem that we have? Yeah, um, it's really sad that um, the world's biggest economy does have such a big problem with homelessness. Um, I think one of the biggest issues is the fact that housing prices are rising faster than wages. So a lot of times, even if people do have a job, they still can't afford to pay rent. So I think one solution that the government can help um, is provide more federal housing assistance. So helping low-income families pay for rent and find livable housing. Another solution would be find um, or find ways to create higher paying jobs um, in order to give people a livable wage that they can use to support themselves and find good housing. That is true, because I, I know a few friends who are you know, in a massive debt yeah. and because of that they have to or had to face homelessness at some point. Um, moving on, so that is something that can be done by the government and the federal agencies. Um, what do you think needs to be done as, as individuals or as communities, you know? Yeah, um, that's a great question. Um, I think there's a lot we can do as individuals. Um, one, I think finding or having the knowledge to one, find a job and find housing right. is something that not everyone has. So if you come from a background where maybe you know how to apply for jobs or create a resume, or um, have a good credit score and know how to apply for housing. Sharing that knowledge and maybe either volunteering or tutoring people and helping them with job applications. Um, a lot of times with job, job applications, you need an address. And if you're homeless, you don't have that address to That's apply true. for jobs. Um, and if you don't have a job, you can't pay for housing. Um, so just doing what you can to share your knowledge um, and also just supporting people in this situation. Well, I hope we do that. Yeah. And that's a wonderful solution that you shared with us today. And I hope that many other countries can also learn from that. And uh, well, again, I thank you so much for sharing your views. Uh, it was a very productive conversation. I'll see you again. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs>